Any one of you go to high school with someone who is pretty famous now? What were they like then? Not exactly school related but I used to play youth baseball with MC Hammer's son. His entire family was so nice and some of the most down to earth people I have ever met. MC Hammer even gave me my very own nickname while I was playing a game once. A grounder was hit straight to me and I scooped it up and made a double play to end the game. He was yelling from the crowd. At a boy scoop he and the rest of my team called me that until I moved away one day. Good times. My grandma went to school with Elvis. They had PE. Together. She said he was a real ladies man and he was a total sweetheart. My mother's friend dated Elvis when she was younger. Elvis bought her a car. After that she was famous on her block for being the woman Elvis bought the Cadillac for. My dad went to the same high school as Prince. Apparently he was a very quiet kid. Didn't have many friends. Please tell me he played on the basketball team. My grandfather went on a dinner date with Marilyn Monroe. While he was on leave from the Navy. In Los Angeles. This was, of course, before she became famous. For his 80th birthday, we took him to Joe DiMaggio's Steakhouse. Since closed and I hired a Marilyn Monroe impersonator. Until that day, I had never seen him smile. Taylor Lautner, that guy is an arrogant jerk. Who unfortunately, also looks like an arrogant llama. My mom went to school with Steve from Blue's Clues. She was in the drama department with him. She said he was always acting kooky, but he was super nice and artsy. I went to high school with Ludacris. Back then he was just Chris, and he was hilarious. Went to primary with Peter Jackson's son. Before Lord of the Rings came out, he told us his dad was making a movie. I laughed at him. Oh god why? Holy frick I probably know you dependent on which year you left. On a related note, his son's a bit of a douchebag. My father grew up with Neil Young. They were basically best buds and they stole that hearse together. Neil Young tells of that crap in his biography. Zac Efron was in my high school speech and debate league. He accused me of wanting to kill Oprah in a debate. And he won. Play to win. You gotta 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 jet your head in the game, son. I'm classmates with Princess Mako of Japan, the Emperor's granddaughter, in two classes in college. Apparently there are bodyguards dressed up as students near her at all times. I'm sure the bodyguards are real tough to spot. Two huge Japanese guys wearing green day shirts and backwards baseball caps. My father went to high school with John Stamos. He says that Stamos was a huge nerd and performed magic tricks at lunch. That is all. Tupac. I was in French class with him in either 10th or 11th grade. I was pretty shitty at French. And I don't remember him paying too much attention to the subject either. Then again, I remember little of those days since it was over 20 years ago. I can vouch for his having been really funny though he had the whole class totally losing it on more than one occasion. My aunt made out with, and then proceeded to puke on Michael J. Fox. I work with a few people who went to high school with Axl Rose. He was an arrogant butthole from what I hear. Not much has changed. Go to the little ice cream shop in West Lafayette. There will be an old lady there. Ask her what she thinks of Axel. Prepared to get kicked out. My mom went to the same school as Christopher Reeve. She said he was one of those smart jock type of guys. Nice too. That's cool. It's good to hear Superman wasn't a dong. My friend's dad had a few classes with Stephen Harper. Prime Minister of Canada. And he was a huge nerd. Got picked on. Beat up and was a math god. I heard he used to be a liberal until he went under the wing of a professor at U of C. Rebecca Black was my little buddy when she was in kindergarten and I was in 4th grade. Honestly, she was adorable and very well spoken and polite for a 5 year old. And I remember for the 2 other years I went to that elementary school, we still bumped into each other every now and then. She spent most of her time in the library reading, keeping herself only to a small group of friends. And now we've been on Facebook for the past two years or so, even before Friday debuted. I've always thought she seemed pretty sweet from her interviews. It's a shame she got so much crap for her music. Yes, it was a crap song, but she's so young and does not deserve death threats. Went to high school, and middle school, with John Mayer. 
He was a good guy. We had a number of friends in common but I didn't hang out w him often. His band, Villanova Junction, played at graduation, and I don't think anyone thought anything of it at the time. I also went to high school with James Blake, the tennis player, but he was a couple of years younger than I was, and I didn't know him. A Fairfield resident, I've seen James Blake and his brother running at the Fairfield Ludlow tracks many times. Old friend of mine went to HS with Christopher Mintz Plas of McLovin fame, apparently he was the class clown. Quite a few of my friend's older siblings went to school with Jeremy Lin, basketball player, and James Franco, actor. They said that Jeremy Lin was pretty average but quite a few of them smoked with James Franco and said he was nice enough but weird as frick and really distant. I went to college with James Franco, his poetry is wonderful, but all about sex and kind of weird. According to legend, my mom's friend strung Rob Schneider's underwear up a flagpole at their band camp when he was a freshman. I brought it up with him a few years back when he was visiting town and he jokingly scolded me for bringing up that painful memory. In high school he was supposedly a dorky, goofy, kind of annoying but lovable kid. From my own experiences more recently, he's silly and loves to make jokes and everything but mostly he's just laid back and very kind. He funded our town's band program and tries to come home for concerts and to stop by and say hello once in a while. He's a real genuine good guy. I went to high school with Lebron James. In high school, he was pretty humble and down to earth. Even when he, and the rest of the school, knew he was going to be an NBA superstar. He kept his class and played it cool through graduation. Imo, his ego didn't blow up until after high school. My dad went to high school with Hugo Weaving. I wonder if he addressed his teachers in the same manner that Agent Smith does Neo. My gym teacher always tells this one story about how she went to high school with Nathan Fillion, and he bought an election for a friend of his by promising almost all the girls in the school he'd go out with them if they voted for his friend. I would vote for a freaking plastic bag if Nathan Fillion promised he would go out with me. <laughs> My sister's friend went to school with Heath Ledger and he was good mates with him. She told me when she herself met him he was a really friendly guy. My dad went to high school with Bill Murray. Apparently he was quite well liked. Didn't go to high school but did ballet and horseback riding with Kate Upton before she moved to Florida. We kept in touch through letters. I lost touch with her right after she was named Rookie of the Year for Sports Illustrated she just got way too busy. Total sweetheart though. Always knew she was gonna be famous be it through her looks or her horses. Not sure I would have hedged all my bets on the horses. Kesha. She was weird. Not hot weird. Just weird. I found out that I went to high school with P-star Caden Cross. That kinda blew my mind. Would have blown my load too. Went to school with Bow Wow. From 5th grade up till when he moved our freshman year to Atlanta. Very normal kid. Went to his birthday party every year before he moved. Never kept in touch after he moved. My boyfriend went to school with Michael Sarah and was good friends with him until he moved away. He really is just as awkward and hilarious in real life and I have been told many funny stories about him. My uncle went to school with Bon Jovi. He shoved my uncle in a locker. I've met that Fred character from YouTube. He went goes to high school close to where I live. Unfortunately he's just as annoying in real life as he is in his videos. So annoying. I've banned his show movies anything with him in it from my 7 year old. My roommate went to school with that chick who plays Santana on Glee. From what I hear, she was very quiet. My dad went to high school with Mike Judge. He said he was really nerdy and weird. My friend's dad punched Bono when they were in school. Due to popular request the full story. So I'm slightly hazy about the exact details but the story goes Bono wrote a song. Or sang a song. To my friend's dad's girlfriend. As you can imagine he didn't take kindly to this creepy and dumbhead move. So that the next day he punched him right in the money maker. Friend's dad eventually married his girlfriend and they settled down on a very successful lettuce farm. Where they live happily married. Yes. I went to high school with Joseph Gordon Levitt. I would see him once in a while walking to class or chilling with his friends. He seemed pretty laid back. 
well I didn't exactly, but Johnny Depp was one grade ahead of me and I talked to him occasionally, and I can tell ya, he was the same as he is now, the lead in everything, the class clown weirdo and had almost barely any friends. Went to school with Victor Wooten, he was also a co-worker at Bush Gardens VAR for a year or so. Went to high school with, Bo Burnham, he was 3 years younger than me and really shy at the time. Had an art class together and he started to come out of his shell and crack jokes every now and then. Knew him mainly as the brother of this guy in my grade though. Also a couple guys that went pro in football. John Jeff, including one in my grade, Chris Zardis, who was pretty cool to me. Oh and Brian Kelly, head football coach at Notre Dame went to my high school and college. My aunt went to school with Ewan McGregor, she said he was a pretty nice guy, and I guess they still keep in touch, she also knows someone immediately related to Clint Eastwood. Sean William Scott went to my high school, I never met him, but my friend's older brother said he used to play cards and drink with him, everyone says he was always fairly modest and fun to be around. Not me but my mom went to school with Michael J. Fox. They lived in the same apartment complex and walked to school together all the time. He was a really nice guy, and pretty popular. My mom has her old yearbook with his signature in it. He always put a little drawing of a dog's paw print beside his name. For me, still being a high schooler myself, the most famous person I have gone to school with would be Matt Brevner. My cousin went to high school with Natalie Hirschlag, Portman, in Syosset, NY. I believe she said she was very nice and quiet. She wasn't around much due to Star Wars filming. I went to school with Barry Sanders. He ran with a different crowd but was always friendly. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.